Hi, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today we're going to be doing a product review on the new Bowtech Destroyer 350. So I'm going to give you a good, honest uh, feel for this. And Bowtech, if, I, if it turns out I don't like it, I'm sorry. And for you Bowtech fans, uh, if I think the thing's a piece of junk, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, that's what these reviews are all about. So uh, Bowtech's not paying me to say good things about this bow. Uh, actually, I shoot for another bow company who's been nice enough to let me do these reviews, so I really appreciate that. Um, but we're going to give you a good, honest review of this bow, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and, uh, and, and kind of go from there so you can form, form your own opinion on it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to take a look at the bow. Uh, it's got the in velvet finish, so it's got a good durable finish on it. Uh, Bowtech's had that around for a couple years. It's got the new hardcore limb design on it, which is uh, several different materials and several different layers. So uh, get a nice, nice looking limb on there. Uh, I really like the limb pocket. One of the things I like about the limb pocket is it's got the it, it locks into place. It's got two bolts here that you have to loosen up to adjust the poundage on that. So I like that I like that aspect of the bow. It's got the new flex guard cable system on it, and what this does is actually at full draw, when you pull the bow back, it actually flexes and pulls your cables out of the way, so you don't have any any clearance issues with your cables. Uh, factory, this is this is how it comes factory. It's got a string suppressor on it, which it looks like a new design from Bowtech. It's got some uh, Got some kind of string dampener or shock absorber there. Got a nice, it's kind of a hard plastic there at the end. It's got a little bit of rubber right out on the very end, but this part of it's actually a hard plastic, so I'm not sure how well that thing's going to work, but we'll see how much vibration this bow's got in it. Comes with three speed knocks on the string, a couple of cushion buttons, and it's got a uh, it's got a knocking point here that I've put on there, and uh, a couple of the old Bowtech whatever these things are called, but they always fall off. So hopefully they've redesigned them and, and we, can, uh, we can get around that. Now there's one thing that, first off, when you look at this bow, there's one thing that I don't like about this bow, and that's the handle, the grip on this bow. Now it, it's yet to be determined on how comfortable it is, but what I don't like about it is it's plastic. Um, they may say it's some high tension alloy or some kind of space age material, but it's plastic. Uh, when I pay this much money for a bow, I want a good I want a good grip on it. I want a good wooden grip, or I want, I want some kind of good rubberized grip, or something like that. Uh, I prefer a wooden grip, uh, but this has got a plastic plastic uh, handle on it, and to me, it just looks cheap. So we'll see how it look. We'll see how it feels, and we'll kind of see how it how it works out. See how comfortable it is. But just looking at the bow, that is the only thing that I can say right off that I don't like about it. I like the overall design of the bow. I like the way the designer, uh, I like the design of the uh, riser here. It's kind of almost a center pivot, not quite as wide as some of the other Bowtech bows, the Captain and the Sentinel and whatever the other, one of the other center pivots. So uh, it's got a good wide stance to it though, so I really like that. Bow's lightweight, I think it weighs right around 4 pounds, maybe a little bit over my scale, is not, not precise on that. So we're going to step up here and we're going to take a few shots on this thing and we'll see how much vibrations in it. We'll see how the draw cycle is and, uh, and kind of go from there. And uh, one thing I didn't discuss is it's got the new overdrive binary cam system on it. Uh, the reason I didn't really talk about this is because I tried to call Bowtech on it. They don't give a whole lot of information on this cam in the, in, the, in the packet that I've gotten on their internet, their website, so I couldn't give you a whole lot of information on it. It does have a rotating module and it's got two draw stops. So I like the fact that it has two draw stops because you never know when one might fail. Um, doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So it's got two draw stops on it, so that's nice. The module is a little bit different. It took me a second to realize what the module actually was on this bow. You'll see the chrome, the kind of chrome red piece right here in the in the, uh, in the cam. That's the module. So it's got a rotating mod on it, which is it's actually a pretty cool looking module, and it's nice and small. Right now we've got it on 29 inch draw length. We're going to be lowering it down to 28. So we'll see how hard it is to adjust. And we'll see how hard it is to adjust the uh, draw stop there. So let's step up here and let's take a few shots with this thing. Pretty nice draw, not too bad. A little bit of a hump in it. Let's see what kind of creep we've got here. Got a little bit of play in it. You can actually let up just a little bit off it. You can kind of settle in there. Before it really wants to go out of your pull out of your hand, hardly any vibration to it at all. Almost no hand shock, and this bow's got nothing on it except for what came on at factory. 
first arrow is a 380 grain Victory V Force arrow. Our setup is 65 pounds, 29 inch drop. Three hundred twelve feet per second. Our next arrow is a three hundred and thirty five grain Victory X Ringer. Three hundred twenty six feet per second. Okay, so I was going to show you guys how to change the uh, how to change the modules on this thing, how to change the draw length. And one of the reasons that I was going to show that is because uh, I just wanted to see how complicated it was. And I can tell you right off that I'm not going to show you that because you're actually going to have to press this bow to change the mods. And the reason that you have to press this bow is because it has two bolts holding it in and that holding it in place. One is up here and the other one is actually under the limb. Now, when you rotate that mod out a little bit, you may be able to get to it uh, without having to having to press it, but I, I don't know if you'd ever be able to do that or not. Uh, without having to press here, I, I don't know, uh, and I don't have the proper press here at the house to press this bow, so I'm gonna have to take it to the shop to press it to uh, to change the draw length on it. So that's one thing I really don't like about about the, the modules. I, I do like that it has dual draw stops, but I don't like that it has. Uh, that you have to press it to change the modules around. So that's definitely something that the, your average guy is not going to have bow press at the house. I've got one here, and I've got a, I've got a, a bow press at the shop. That, uh, but my bow press here at the house isn't it isn't as nice as the one at the shop. So I'm going to have to take it to the shop. Overall, the bow's performance was was pretty good. Very little vibration in it. Uh, almost no vibration in your hand. It's shot. Uh, very smooth. Pretty quiet. For, for not having anything on it. Speed was pretty impressive, but then again, this is a speed bow, so you, you'd expect it to be that way. Uh, even with my hunting setup, sometimes these bows, you know, they're advertised for, for a lot of speed, and you get them for an actual hunting setup, uh, and then they don't perform like you really want them to. So this bow, even with my hunting setup, even with uh, a, a big heavy arrow, that 380 grain arrow, still performed good, still got, got some pretty good speed on it. A um, couple things I didn't like about the bow was one, the, the rotating draw module. Uh, was was hard to get to and hard to deal with, and two the grip on it was just I, I just didn't like that it's plastic and for my style of grip it was a little bit uncomfortable. On a scale of one to ten, I gave this bow a nine just for for the, the little things that are wrong with it. Uh, the grip is not an issue, you know that's that to me is not an issue except for a personal preference. Um, the module rotation to me that that is an issue. And that's the only reason I don't give this bow a ten is because I don't want to have. The average person is not going to want to have not going to have a bow press at the house, so he's not going to be able to change your, your draw mods. But again, that's something that the average person may not may not do. You know, maybe I'm different than most people that uh, I like to be able to work on my own bows. So the average person out there, if you don't own a bow press, you don't have uh, some kind of linear press or uh, some kind of X press, you're not going to be able to change the draw length on this thing by yourself. So be sure to have that done at the shop and get it pulled back and find the comfortable what's comfortable for you. So a lot of very nice features of this bow. Uh, like I said, overall I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, be sure to check out our website. Hopefully this is the first of many bow reviews that we'll be able to do. Uh, I've contacted a lot of different companies and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some questions answered and we'll be able to do some, some unbiased reviews like this in the future. And I uh, appreciate some feedback on this. If there's something I've done that you guys don't like, let me know if there's a test that I didn't do that you want to see me do. Um, let me know and, and I'll try to cover that in the next video. So this is the first one we've done. Hopefully we'll, we'll continue to improve from here. So uh, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com and this has been a review of the Bowtech Destroyer 350. We'd appreciate it if you'd visit our website. That's Ike'sOutdoors.com. We've got a lot of other videos on there. Uh, good helpful tips, tricks, a few hunting, uh, a few other product reviews. We've got a lot of product reviews on there. So be sure to visit our website, Ike'sOutdoors.com. Appreciate you watching.